Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be doing a web application using infinite scrolling with Vue.js and Firebase Firestore. So let's get started. I've got a Firebase project with Firestore and some documents I created. There's 30 documents that contain an author and a photo URL. I want to make a gallery with these uh, photos and all of these are are public so as you can see anyone can read them but no one can write on them i've also got a vue.js project i created it has the bootstrap cdn links so that i can use bootstrap classes in my html and i've also got a really simple app component that contains a photos component inside of it this has only basic HTML, I haven't done anything to it. And if you want to see how I created this Vue.js project, you can go ahead and check out my other video where I create one from scratch, or you can go to the link down below and see it on GitHub. So now I'm going to run npm run serve to run the project, see it in the browser. And as you can see, it has just basic uh, HTML, some text, it doesn't do anything right now. We're going to start by installing the Firebase SDK using npm install Firebase. Once it's done, we're going to go to the Firebase console and register a new web app. Okay, so once it's done, we're going to go to the web app settings over here. And scroll down, you'll see a radio button that says config. Just copy the config um, text. And we're going to go to the main.js file and paste it in there. This is going to serve to initialize the Firebase SDK. So we're going to import Firebase SDK like this. And we're going to go ahead and type in firebase.initialize and pass in the configuration we just copied. Now our web app is connected to Firebase. Now in my photos component, I'm going to import the Firebase SDK and I'm also going to import the Firestore section of the SDK like this. I'm going to create two sections, so the mounted section of the component like this and the method section. And in the method section, I'm going to create a new method, call it fetch pictures. And this is going to be called whenever the component is mounted. So I'm going to put it in here. Now, this is just to demonstrate how I'm going to get the, the photos first. So I'm going to call a Firestore instance, and I'm going to take all the pictures, documents, snapshots from Firebase, um, from that collection pictures, I'm just going to call the get method. Since this returns a promise, I'm going to put an await and make this uh, method async. Now I'm going to create a data section. In this data section, I'm going to put the pictures array that is going to basically bind to my HTML. And this pictures array is going to contain the document snapshots once they are gotten from Firebase. So now I'm going to run the dot data function on each of the document snapshots and as you can see now the pictures array contains 30 objects and each object has its data from Firebase. I'm going to create the HTML part, just a simple card with a card body and a card title. I'm going to type in the title in, in a second, but first I'm also going to insert an image element here with a class image, I'm sorry, card image top. Th these are just bootstrap classes. You can use them as well. Now the, I'm going to insert a V4. that is going to get me the picture, the index from the pictures array we created and filled from Firebase. And I'm going to also insert a key. Now, once I got this, 
I'm gonna put a binder over here in the source. I'm gonna select the photo URL. And for the alternative text, I'm gonna just type in the author like this. Now in the title, I'm gonna put pick.author as well. And so now it is binded. I'm gonna add a couple more classes just to style up a bit my gallery. I'm gonna center the images and I'm gonna add some margin in the bottom using Bootstrap. Now, as you can see, the gallery is working. It contains every image in my Firestore collection, but they are just a lot and they're pretty heavy as well. So it's gonna take a lot of time. And also each time the user reloads the page is gonna bring me the 30 pictures. So to solve this, I'm gonna go ahead and install view infinite loading. And we're gonna start loading 10 by 10 by 10 pictures. So once it finishes, we're gonna import the infinite loading component from the view infinite loading um, NPM library. And we're gonna register it into the components section of this component. Now we're gonna add it to the HTML right at the very bottom of every image. And we're gonna add the infinite handler method that we're gonna create in our method section right here. Now I'm gonna add a new variable in data. It's gonna be called last document doc snapshot. It's gonna be null right now, but once we get the pictures, so when we fetch the pictures from Firebase, we're gonna get the last document snapshot from the request and we're gonna save it in this um, data variable. Now I'm gonna separate my query into two and you're gonna see why in a second. So I'm gonna create a variable, call it pictures ref and just move this over here and put the pictures ref in here like this. And right now it does exactly the same thing, hasn't changed, but we're gonna add an if statement here. So if the last document snapshot is not null, which means there is a last document snapshot, we are gonna make the query and start after this document snapshot. And over here, instead of replacing the whole pictures, we're just gonna create a variable and then we're gonna push the results of the query into the pictures array. Now finally in this method I'm gonna return the amount of documents that we got from the query so 10 or less documents and then for the infinite handler we're gonna receive a parameter named state. And in here, whenever the infinite handler is called, which is whenever the user scrolls to the bottom, we're gonna call the fetch pictures method, which is async. So I'm gonna add an await. And we're gonna go ahead and check if the results um, length basically is larger than zero. And if it is, we're gonna set the state as loaded, which means there's more pictures to come. But if it's less than zero or equal to zero, we're gonna set the state as completed, like this. So we're saying there's no more pictures to fetch. And the infinite loading is gonna stop there. Now, as you can see, there's 10 in the array right now. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom. There, the infinite handler comes in and takes 10 more from the last document snapshot. And then if we keep scrolling, it takes 10 more once we get to the bottom. And there it is. There's no more data. So it means the state is now completed because the last query returned zero.
I hope this video was useful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it helps out a lot. And all the